In this video, I'll show you how to activate your CTC Link account for the first time. If you've already done this in another college in Washington State, you do not need to do that. And number two, you will only activate this one time, so make sure you save your ID and password at the end so you can use it in the future. And to successfully uh, complete this activation, you'll need to allow pop-ups in your browser. First thing to do is go to gateway.ctclink.us and then you'll see this bop, box pop up. Your CTC Link ID box is here, but you don't have that yet. So you want to click the Activate Your Account link. When you get to that Activate Your Account link, you want to make sure that you use your legally recognized name here at the school. If you go by Bob, but really it's Robert, enter the Robert, otherwise it will not recognize it. You have to enter your birth date in this order, uh, in this way, and then enter your old SID number by using the drop down, you can choose that, or if you had a CTC Link ID, you could use that there if you needed to reactivate that, which shouldn't happen. Um, and then you want to set your password, um, choosing a security question, etc., just like you would with most other sites. Have your email in there that you prefer or that you check the most often. Have choose a security question and answer from the drop down menus there. And then, you, if you want a recovery text in here, you want to enter that, which is really handy if you don't always have access to an email to check. You want to choose a password, and there is a system that you need to follow for your password and confirm that password and then hit submit. Once you hit submit, it will be a pop-up message for you that says you've activated and here is your number and that's where you want to save that so that you have it for later. And then you want to close all browsers for your update, update your activation process and now you're ready to work in the system.